My name is Zeke Miller. I'm a White House correspondent for the Associated Press uh, here in Washington. Uh, President Joe Biden is in Warsaw currently after completing a secret trip to Kyiv. Uh, it's one he's wanted to undertake for some months now, but the White House had to work out a whole bunch of security and logistical concerns to get him there, and that primarily re revolved around secrecy, not letting the public know. There was one critical factor, though. The Russian government knew that he was going to be there, and that provided an element of, uh, of risk management that allowed the president to make that trip when he did. The logistics of getting uh, President Biden to Kyiv really required planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, a middle-of-the-night motorcade ride from the White House to Joint Base Andrews just outside the Capitol, uh, a flight aboard an Air Force C-32, which is the smaller version modified Boeing 757 that stands in for Air Force as Air Force One when the President travels domestically usually. The President took that overseas, so it's a little lower profile than that bigger iconic 747. He landed um, in Poland, had to motorcade to a train station and then get on a 10-hour train ride overnight uh, across the Ukrainian border into downtown Kyiv, uh, and that's where he finally met President Zelensky. And sure, so AP photographer Evan Vucci uh, was told to look out for an email that had his cover story essentially, uh, details about a golf tournament that apparently started at 2 in the morning on Sunday. Uh, that's when he had to be at Andrews Air Force Base to join the president. Um, he had to surrender all of his electronic devices, power off his cameras, um, until they finally got to Kyiv. That's when it was safe for him to be in taking photos, and he couldn't begin transmitting anything until they got to the U.S. Embassy um, in Kyiv for a brief hold period while the president met with embassy staff. That was when the president's visit became public, and that uh, was when the White House allowed uh, them to safely report that information. It's not unusual for presidents to visit war zones, uh, certainly when, where Americans are combatants. Uh, we saw Presidents Bush, Obama, Trump visit Iraq and Afghanistan, in some cases multiple times during their presidencies. Those trips were also conducted in, se in secret. But the critical difference between those trips and going to Kyiv is that the U.S. isn't a belligerent in Kyiv, in Ukraine. It doesn't control the airspace. It doesn't have a very large troop presence on the ground. In fact, the only U.S. troop presence is a, you know, a dozen or so Marines guarding the embassy um, in downtown Kyiv. So the logistics of pulling something off, this, something like this off safely were incredibly complex. Uh, part of what allowed the president to do this is the, the notification to Russia so that they wouldn't want to trigger any sort of miscalculation that can start off essentially nuclear war between the, uh, the, the, the U.S. And, and, and Russia, the two nuclear armed powers. But also um, there were U.S. surveillance planes flying along the Polish border outside of Ukrainian airspace, providing that a, le a level of air cover and eyes on what was happening inside Ukraine from outside of Ukraine uh, by U.S. military forces that allowed the Secret Service and others on the ground uh, a, a better sense of what was going on to allow them to carry out this trip in a safe way possible. Uh, President Biden spent about 23 hours on the ground um, on Ukrainian soil. Uh, that included about five hours in Kyiv and, and his time on the train there and back. Uh, from there, he went to Warsaw to deliver a very large uh, speech. Uh, it's meant to be sort of a tentpole speech uh, about, uh, about the U.S. and its allies' commitment to bolstering Ukraine's defenses for the long haul. He reflected on his time in Kyiv, his meetings with President Zelensky, and tried to rally the free world, rally the people of Poland um, and the region uh, to stand with Ukraine uh, for quite some time. 